My name's Mark Neal. I'm the Managing Director of Landmark, and I'm delighted to be here this morning at the Army Flying Museum, re-signing the Armed Forces Covenant on behalf of Landmark. Signing the Armed Forces Covenant is more than just a document or a sentiment from a Landmark perspective. It's a pledge. It's a pledge on behalf of Landmark to not only service leavers, veterans, and also their families, to be treated fairly and with respect in recognition of the very special loyalty and service that they've given to their country. My name's uh, Colonel John Cummings. I'm the Assistant Commander Headquarters uh, Southwest, based in Tidworth. And I'm here today representing the military community at the Armed Forces Covenant signing the Gold Award revalidation for Landmark Solutions. Landmark is a brilliant example of providing support to the defence community and also for veterans, reservists and their families. And indeed, in some cases, the Gadak Force adult volunteers. In order to attract people from the armed forces community to come and work at Landmark, we tried to make it easier to engage with us. We signed a pledge hotly off the heels of the civil service with the guaranteed interview scheme for veterans and their families. I think it's the right thing to do and for those in the armed forces community, having a soft landing into an organisation such as Landmark is really important. Landmark is a really proud holder of the Gold Award for the Employer Recognition Scheme. This award is really pivotal in helping our staff understand that all of the effort that we put into helping career transition for veterans and creating Landmark to be a forces friendly employer is a worthwhile thing to do. So getting that recognition is hugely important to the business and to our people. My name is Rachel Brannigan and I am the Head of Engagement at Wessex Reserve Forces and Cadets Association. In order for a business to get the gold level of employer recognition scheme, there's a number of things they have to do and like Landmark have done. One of those is to be an advocate of the Armed Forces and the Armed Forces Covenant, which Landmark have done incredibly well. The other looks at the workforce, so it looks at reserve service, so offering additional paid leave to reserve so they can fulfil their commitments and their training commitments. And this year specifically, there's an additional criteria that talks about Cadet Force Adult Volunteers and their commitment to their service and supporting that as well. So we're trying to make Landmark a great transitionary employer for people coming out of the armed forces, working in a very familiar environment with an organisation that understands the unique challenges of career transition.